can you tell us a little bit about you? Um, what you do now, where you came from, your family, how old you are, that kind of stuff. Well, I, I was born and raised in Los Angeles where my parents grew all of our food. And so I lived with an environment where we always had healthy, healthy food in season. It was wonderful. And I went through high school, um, never missed a day of school, perfect attendance, because we never got sick, because we always had good food. And so I just assumed that's how everybody lived. But when I got older and start, and got married and had a family, I'm realizing that Los Angeles is no place you can grow food anymore, and it's not a safe place to live. So we came up here so I can grow food for my family. And I have seven children who are all adults now. The first two were born at home. Excuse me, the first two were born in the hospital. The other five were all born at home. None, none were immunized, none ever got, none of, none of us, none of them ever had health insurance and all well, well and healthy because of this live food. So I know this works, I have you know, a generation to, to show it. Um, I'm an arborist, I prune trees for a living. Um, I maintain this garden for my, my family, which are all now grown, but I still eat it and they, the kids come back whenever they can and get stuff and so I'll always have a garden because I just want live food. My life is quite simple. Um, I don't, I'm not real complicated, and I like simple. Simple is a very safe place. You can't get lost there, and, uh, and that's all that's about it. it. Um, now that your kids are gone, do they have any kind of health problems since they're not eating from, you know, their own growing their own gardens? Who said they're not eating from their own grow, grow, oh. growing gardens? My right. kids have live food. Do they? They know what real is, and they're not going to sell for second second rate. They grow their own food for sure. Because they know what's real. <laughs> Have you found that um, since most of the family is gone now, um, you have to plant less because you'll just have definitely well, have I too much? Well, I don't because you see, whatever I don't eat, my chickens do, and then I have a ton of people coming here all the time <laughs> getting my food. See, my like wife's me. a midwife, and, she, and these women come having babies, and they like this food, so I have no problem getting rid of it. So I'm still planting all the same, actually planting more because I want more kale and stuff for my chickens during the winter. So I'm now taking, when I threw my roll of kale, I go out and plant my orchard so I have it all winter for my chickens. So I'm not really planting any less, even though I, I don't need it as much, because I'm just finding places that pe people want it and, and it's really good to give. And it's so easy to do. I mean, all I do is just throw seeds out in the air and they grow. You know? So it's not like a lot of work to plant. Um, how much kale do you grow, say, for the winter for the chickens? Well, I'm gonna like plant, how many rows or I'm, I'm gonna plant, plants? I planted a whole bunch out in the orchard there, uh, probably about equal to that row. And I think I'll plant two more. You know, just two like, more rows? Yeah, just because they, they eat quite a bit. You know, they eat, they eat a lot more than I do. Because there's 30 of them, there's only one right. you know, So, so I, I can, I can it's all, you can't have too much kale. And then kale is such an incredible food for anybody. It's just so, so healthy. So kale, if, if I could grow only one plant, it'd be the lost novel kale, the Russian kale, because it's just such a powerful food and it feeds you the whole year. Okay. Cool, cool. And you know, those people with those in those cold climates, that's 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 what I really focus on. Kale is, you know, major part, of, and it, and it's probably the most cold, cold hardy plant there is. Also, it'll take the cold more than any other. So it's just for cold climates, kale is like, you know, the the, the given. You should have a uh, little workshops where people can come out and dig and stuff with you. I mean, I know you don't like people in your garden, no, but... you know, I, I had a couple of family came up from Arrowhead, California. They drove up here and actually, for, on their vacation, spent two days. And it was so cool. The kids were out here pulling weeds, just having a ball. Because <laughs> it was so easy, you know. And then and then I had them in here. I had them helping me get the compost my garden. It was amazing. We did that whole half my garden in like three hours. And the kids, I was I was loading the screen. One of the kids was shaking it, and the dad was moving the wheelbarrow. And it was just, I had two wheelbarrows going, so it was, it was, they were amazed. We did my whole half the garden, man, in like three hours. And they all had fun. Because, you know, it was, and they couldn't believe how much, you know, we no impact on the chicken pen. We did the whole garden. They came and told me we took anything out because it was so much. <laughs> but they had really fun. And it was just a good experience. And to realize, like, gardening isn't hard and pulling weeds is not a bummer. It's just, this is all enjoyable, you know. <laughs> Like people are blessed. I mean, they can't believe they. I bring people and I have them pull out these huge dandelions this tall, and they just pop out of the ground. It's, people flip out. It's just, that's not how it is in dirt. It's not, man. It's just so easy. <laughs> it's one of the things when we've been doing some of our weeding so far, and we'll pull a weed up, and just the roots are almost as long as the know, weed it's itself. Dramatic. And see, that's why this is healthy plants because you have a root system. Conversely, in dirt, you have no roots. 
and then nothing's in the plant. It's just, it's just again, it's just a no, a no brainer. It's so obvious, like duh. This is how the plant feeds itself as roots. If you have a good root system, you have a good plant. If you don't, you don't. It's just so obvious. And in the root system, the roots just go everywhere. It's just dramatic. I mean, I get just blessed pulling out these huge roots. Look at this, man. Look how healthy this plant is because of the airspace in the soil. Yeah, some of the uh, weeds that I had, I found just like how you were saying with your trees, the, the roots just go sideways Incredible. instead of, yeah. Several feet. It's like yeah. you pull up and you look at the ground like, wow, it's way out over yeah. there, you know? And that doesn't happen in dirt. And so you're getting like, yes, this is, and this is why I don't have a wire as much because the, the pie has a much bigger place to feed from. So it's just, again, so obvious why it's such an incredible design. You've talked before about uh, your cooler. Like, I guess you have yeah, a- Yes, an eight by 10 walk-in cooler I got out of the old Safeway. Okay. That was really the thing really people don't know where you got it from. Yeah, I got it from the old Safeway. The Safeway they were tearing down, and my brother was a meat cutter in Safeway, and so he heard about it, so we got it for like a thousand bucks, and it's been here for like probably 18 years now. My apples are just great. I love it. I wouldn't, couldn't, couldn't imagine living without it. It's a great, great thing to have. Okay. Um, you know, I never noticed that building back there. What's that? That's a guest house. Ah. Upstairs and downstairs is a place of storage, um, but it's a nice, nice guest house.